very good afternoon to all the students as well as faculty members i am pavan kumar head of department department of mechanical engineering production imt college of polytechnic greater noida today we are going to discuss the topic basics of refrigeration this is the very important topic uh, which are usually read by the final year students as well as secondary students of diploma students okay so we will move towards the basics of refrigeration introduction to refrigeration as you know that the refrigeration is the process of maintaining the temperature below atmospheric temperature okay in a body or a space whose temperature is already below the temperature of its surrounding is called refrigeration okay here the heat is being generally pumped from the low level to higher one is reacted at higher temperature okay the term refrigeration may be defined as the process of removing heat from a substance under controlled conditions it is also include the process of reducing heat maintaining the temperature of body below the general temperature or the surrounding temperature or its environmental temperature okay in other word the refrigeration means the continued extraction of heat from a body whose temperature is already below the temperature of its surrounding means the refrigeration the aim of refrigeration is to maintain the temperature below atmospheric temperature below surrounding temperature okay in the opposite of this refrigeration we use heat pump heat pump is also heat pump is used to maintain the temperature of any space above then the temperature of surrounding okay the basic difference between refrigeration and heat pump is uh, the, it it maintain refrigeration maintain the temperature below atmosphere atmospheric temperature and heat pump always maintain the temperature above then atmospheric temperature okay now we will move towards the refrigerator and refrigerant what is refrigerator we have studied the process refrigeration refrigeration process cooling process and refrigerator is the instrument or the device which you which are you uh, used to make refrigeration okay so a refrigerator is a reverse heat engine or a heat pump which takes out heat from a cold body and deliver it to hot body means if we uh, say in other words we can say that the refrigerator is a device which extract take heat from the low temperature space and transfer it to higher temperature space okay the refrigerant is the heat carrying medium the refrigerant is a heat carrying medium which during the cycle in the refrigeration system absorb heat from low temperature system and deliver it to higher temperature system okay if we uh, discuss about the refrigerant ammonia r22 r12 co2 and various others one r134 r170 there are very types of many types of refrigerant which are using in current refrigerators and ac okay so we have discussed the difference between refrigerator and refrigerant refrigerator is a device and refrigerant is the medium which is used in the refrigerator okay refrigeration cycle in the refrigeration system the heat is being generally pumped from the low level to higher level this rejection of heat from the low temperature to higher temperature can only be performed with the help of external work according to the second law of thermodynamics as we already known that second law of thermodynamics kelvin planck statement and clausius statement statement both statement says that different the uh, as we discuss about the kelvin planck statement it said that it is impossible to transfer heat from it is uh, it uh, if we discuss about the clausius statement we uh, can say that if we trans if we want to transfer heat from low temperature to higher temperature so there will be extra energy is required extra work is required to transfer heat from low temperature to higher temperature if we discuss about kelvin planck statement kelvin planck statement state that it is impossible to design it is impossible to design any thermodynamic device which works on thermodynamic cycle can convert total available of heat into 
network it is impossible to convert available energy into 100% useful work some amount of energy definitely wasted okay so this is the heat rejection this is the refrigeration cycle the basic refrigeration cycle which mostly used in uh, a refrigerator the first device is compressor next is condenser and third one is expansion and the main most important uh, the component of the refrigerator is evaporator where the actual cooling is take place okay compressor is used to compress the refrigerant and after the compressor the temperature and pressure of the refrigerant increases and the, the higher temperature and pressure refrigerant then passes to the condenser condenser is used to extract the heat and to liquefy the refrigerant after the condenser the liquid refrigerant at low temperature enters into the expansion valve expansion valve is used to reduce the pressure of the refrigerant and where the pressure is reduced okay and temperature is also reduced in the expansion device after the expansion valve the refrigerant goes toward the evaporator so this low temperature and low pressure refrigerant enters into the evaporator where the evaporate in the evaporator refrigerant absorb the heat from the surrounding and the refrigerant get evaporate and in the evaporator it absorb the latent heat of vaporization from the surroundings and refrigerant get vaporized after the vaporizing the refrigerant enters or yeah, goes towards the compressor okay during the absorbing the latent heat of vaporization from the surrounding refrigerant produce the cooling effect to the surrounding okay this is the basic refrigeration cycle used in a refrigerator okay <coughs> what are the basic components which are uh, available in each refrigerant unit that is low temperature thermal sink next is means of extracting the heat energy from the sink raising its level of temperature before delivering the heat a receiver is a storage to which the heat is transferred from the high temperature high pressure refrigerant okay and another is means of reducing the pressure the temperature of refrigerant before it turn to the sink means to reduce the pressure we are using uh, uh, we are using condenser and uh, to reduce the pressure we are using expansion device okay the process of cycle is the compression uh, compression a uh, condensation expansion and evaporation we have already discussed in this figure the first is process is compression which is done by compressor second process is condensing that is done by condenser and third process is expansion uh, which are done by expansion valve and fourth and last most important process is, is evaporator or cooling okay uh, which is done by evaporator okay uh, if we discuss about the various types of refrigeration system used in our daily life okay so if we discuss uh, there are many types of refrigeration system but we are discussing here only two types of refrigeration system first is vapor compression refrigeration system Another another is vapor absorption refrigeration system. There is also uh, air refrigeration system. There is also solar refrigeration system, and many other types of basic refrigeration system are used. Okay, so we are going to discuss the first vapor compression refrigeration system. Okay, what is vapor compression refrigeration system? This is the most important system from the point of commercial and domestic utility. Okay. the vapor compression refrigeration system mostly used in commercial purpose and domestic purpose and also most practical form of refrigeration this particular type of refrigeration system used in large scale as well as commercial purpose as well as domestic purpose okay the working fluid or refrigerant used in this refrigeration system readily evaporate condense or change alternatively between the vapor and liquid phase without leaving the refrigerating plant okay the refrigerant which are using in this particular refrigeration system is uh, uh, working in the closed path and continuously refrigeration moves from compressor to condenser condenser to expansion device 
are an expansion device to evaporator okay during the evaporation it absorb heat from the cold body and in the condensing or cooling it rejects heat to the external hot body okay we are doing we are discussing here that in in the evaporator it absorb the heat it means refrigerant refrigerant absorb the heat and in the condenser and in the expansion device it rejects the heat heat absorbed from the cold body during evaporation is used as its latent heat for converting it from liquid to vapor okay thus a cooling effect is created in the working fluid and because of the working fluid the surrounding temperature goes down and cooling effect or refrigeration effect created okay this is the actual vapor compression refrigeration cycle which are used in uh, basically uh, refrigerators uh, the first one is the process is always we are always starting the process from compressor okay uh, we are in the, also have indicated the one point the compressor first when we on the switch when we on the switch of a refrigerator first compressor is start okay firstly always compressor start after the compression refrigerant moves refrigerant moves towards the condenser refrigerant moves towards the condenser we have already discussed in the compressor temperature and pressure increase basically pressure increase due to pressure temperature also increase in the compressor then after the compressor refrigerant moves towards the condenser in the condenser as the temperature increase before the process compression the condenser is used to condense the refrigerator refrigerant which is coming from the compressor after the com condenser refrigerant goes to the metering device where its quality is checked and after the metering device the high pressure refrigerant goes to the expansion valve we have already discussed expansion valve is used to used to uh, decrease the pressure of the refrigerant and after the expansion valve this refrigerant goes to the evaporator and the evaporator the refrigerant absorb the latent heat of vaporization and produce refrigeration effect this uh, uh, actual diagram of the vapor compression refrigeration system which is showing in our screen okay now we have already discussed all these topics refrigerator components i have i have already discussed first most important process is compression second condensation third is expansion fourth is vaporization these four four processes are uh, actually happening in the case of any uh, vapor compression refrigeration system okay what the compressor work i have already discussed the low pressure temperature refrigerant from the evaporator down into the compressor through the inlet of the suction valve where it is compressed to high pressure and temperature we have already discussed compressor is used to increase the pressure of refrigerant okay condenser is used to decrease the temperature of refrigerant and to condense the refrigerant from vapor to the liquid form okay receiver is used to receive the refrigerant from the condenser and uh, where the rectifier is also used okay expansion device we have already discussed expansion device is used to decrease the pressure of refrigerant okay evaporator evaporator is the main important part of refrigerator we have already discussed where the refrigerant extract the latent heat of vaporization and convert into the vapor okay and produce the cooling effect okay what is the advantage of bcrs vapor compression refrigeration system a smaller size for a given refrigeration capacity high coefficient of performance okay uh, the scope the best vapor compression refrigeration system having very large coefficient of performance coefficient of performance means how much it perform with respect to work input okay lower power requirement for a given capacity it required very less power in comparison to other type of refrigeration system less capacity in the both design and operation it is it is very simple in design it can be used over a large temperature okay the temperature range is very uh, variable <coughs> it can be used for variable temperature it represent a significant portion of the refrigeration industry due to the use of these units in large number okay for a domestic preservation the storage is generally short term domestic refrigerator used for purpose usually small in size with a rating in range of 
one two twenty or half ton. Okay. The unit is usually self-contained and hermetically sealed. Hermetically sealed means the whole uh, refrigerating unit is sealed under a, a uh, one system. Okay. Due to the short term storage, the domestic refrigerator load is intermittent. Okay. Thanks. Uh, with this, uh, we have discussed the basics of refrigeration. In the basics of refrigeration, we have discussed vapor compression refrigeration system. Okay. And in the next lecture, we will discuss vapor absorption refrigeration system. Okay. Very very thanks, this, and have a nice day. Thank you to all.